Hi everyone, my name is Rob Perry from Airfix Music. Today I'm going to show you a useful way to edit audio stems from an Airfix Music song to adapt different combinations at different moments of a video sequence. Here we go. If you don't know yet, the Airfix Music platform has a distinct and unique customizable tool that lets you define different combinations of a song. It can be really useful if you want to change quick musical elements you don't desire, or you simply want to take off the theme. But if you like to edit musical tracks by yourself and want to exploit the concept to a next level, keep watching this video. Airfix Music offers the possibility to download all stems of a customizable song purchased on their platform. From your order, simply click on Download All Stems. When the files are downloaded, you will see all audio stem files corresponding to the customizable tool in your download folder. Each square button from the online tool has its own tracks, so it will give you the option to manipulate them separately in your video editing software. For this example, I'm using Premiere Pro. Imagine that you have to make a shorter version of your video and you want full control on the music to optimize the results and the buildup. Let's begin. I'm gonna start by adding tracks in my sequence. The first thing I'm gonna do is select which rhythm, accompaniment, and theme will be my main tracks. For this example, I'm gonna choose rhythm one, accompaniment one, and theme one. To help me have a clear vision, I'm gonna name the tracks by their musical parts. Rhythm one, accompaniment one, and theme one. Before I start my edit, I'm gonna duplicate the full track and put it far away in my timeline, just in case I have to copy a section. So let's see how it feels with the raw song. What I would like is to use this intense part and create a musical build. To start my edit and to make a perfect cut in the audio, I'm going to add markers on the first time of each measure. To do this, simply click M on your keyboard while the playback is playing. Here we go. Here, I'm cutting the beginning of my section. And here, I'm cutting the end of my section. I'm gonna keep this drop down for the video ending. To keep the clip with a shortcut, you can use Command K. Second step, the intro. Let's see what I have. Okay, I want my intense section to start on this plan. So I'm gonna keep the first two measures of the song and cut here. I erase the middle part and I bring back my intense section here. The intense part is not long enough to get to the end, so I'm gonna copy paste tracks to repeat the part. To do it, select clips, then hold Option and drag them to the right. Then I will go to work on transitions. Let's listen to it. So the timing is good, but it sounds rough. To get a good transition, I'm going to use constant gain crossfade and set the length short. I'm pushing solo to only listen to the track I'm working on. Let's listen to it. It works well. 
In the rhythm track, there is a reverse symbol here which is perfect to help my transition. I'm going to keep it like this. Then, I'm going to listen to the theme in solo to know what instruments are there. I'm going to listen without the theme as well to hear how it sounds. I can see the intensity is lower without the theme. If you remember, I repeated my intense section twice, but what I want is a musical build-up. That's why it's interesting to take control of the song with separate stems. I'm going to take off the theme here to keep the power in the second section. Let's listen to it. That's perfect. Let's start working on the second transition. Here I have a drop down. I'm going to keep it for the end, so I'm going to cut it just before the drop. So I cut it. And bring these tracks back. Let's listen to it. There is a little click, so I'm going to look closer on the rhythm transition to find the problem. Maybe if I cut one more frame... There it is. The timing is better like this. I'm going to look at the same thing on the accompaniment track. To eliminate the click, I'm going to put constant crossfade. After that, I'm going to turn the theme on with a small fade in. Let's listen to it. Now let's listen to them all. I will listen again to transition one, then to transition two. That's great. So finally, I'm going to put fade out at the end to be sure all is good. That's great. Let's see the results of the video sequence. Thanks for watching this video. If you're looking for royalty free music for your videos, I recommend airfixmusic.com. It will let you take control of your tracks just like I showed you in this video. I hope it was helpful and enjoy your next editing. Goodbye.